Hey everybody, Tyler Whitworth here at Boulevard Home. Today we're doing a review on washers and we've got many questions about which one is better, a front load washer or a top load washer. So we're gonna go through the five must knows as you're considering your purchase of a new washing machine. So the five things we're gonna cover today. First is which one cleans best out of the two. Second is efficiency. Which one's more efficient for your electric bill, for your water bill, for your time. A third is uh, cost. You know, which one is more expensive, which one's less expensive and how they compare. Fourth is convenience, uh, where they, you know, how to, how to place them in your house, can you stack them, things like that. And fifth is uh, ease of loading your clothes into the washer. Okay, we're gonna start first from number five, which is ease of loading your clothes. So as we look at the top load and the front load washer, Obviously, let's start with the top load. You open the lid, everything goes in from the top. Some of the issues this causes is you gotta reach way down into the washer. So if you're short, you have shorter arms, arm lengths, sometimes it's hard to get everything out from the bottom. So that, that's a challenge with top loads. Front loads, on the other hand, this one is sitting on a pedestal. Washers do not always come with pedestals. This is a separate cost. This is an addition. So if you don't have the pedestal, you have to bend down it can hurt your back, you can't reach in, it's hard to get all the way in, but there's an option to put it on a pedestal where it's more at your waist height or arm's length that you can put it in. So, so those are the differences there. Uh, if you have a pedestal, I would say the front load washer is better. However, with no pedestal, it's easier to load a top load. All right, let's get to number four, which is convenience. So convenience plays into where do you put your washer and dryer in your house? Sometimes we have limited spots. So a top load is what it is. You can't stack anything on top of it. You need a certain amount of space to put the top load washer in. A front load, you don't have to have this pedestal. You can actually stack the dryer on top of the washer so it can take smaller spaces and can use those more efficiently. On the flip side, front load washers can be more expensive to maintain. Sometimes there's mold and mildew that builds up that you need to clean out uh, because uh, it doesn't drain as quickly and as easily as maybe a top load does. So that is number four convenience. Okay, three is cost. So what is the cost of a typical front load washer versus a top load washer? They can vary widely. Typically, however, top load washers have cheaper price points versus a front load washer. Many times front load washers average in the range of $7.99 to $12.99 versus a top load washer can go from $3.99 all the way up to $12.99 as well. So depending on what you want, where it's at, top load washers will tend to be less expensive than a front load washer. So number two is efficiency. Which washer is more efficient? We have three metrics we're gonna measure. First off is electric. So which one's more efficient for your electric bill? As we look on here, every washer will come with an energy guide savings. On this washer, it says $9 per year use. This one says $14 per year use. So in terms of electricity, the top load washer tends to be uh, more efficient and costs you less. So second is water consumption. The front load washer does a much better job in using less water, more efficient, and it says up to 40% better than a top load due to the fact that top loads have to have water fill up the drum to wash your clothes. So our third metric is time savings. We all need more time in our lives. What are the wash cycles like? So as we're comparing normal wash cycles, top load washers tend to be a little shorter in the amount of time it takes to wash your clothes. However, many of the front load washers now come with speed cycles uh, with wash cycles as low as 15 minutes for very small loads. So overall, efficiency, it depends on what you're really going for. Uh, they both have their advantages and depending on where you live, one might be a bigger advantage over the other. So we're down to our number one factor that we all want to consider when we're thinking about purchasing a new washer and that is which one cleans better? Does the front load washer or the top load washer clean better? There's many people out there just swear by the fact that top loads have cleaned better forever, they clean better than the front loads, but it really depends. So as we're looking at what we're needing to do, top loads do many times clean very well when they have an agitator, but a lot of times the agitator is very rough on your clothes. So if you have delicate articles, clothing, things like that, a top load with an agitator may not be the best choice but it may clean very well. Front loads, on the other hand, are more delicate to your clothing. They wash very well, and there's many new technologies out there that are making front load washers wash much better than they used to wash. And so as we go down to it and look at the two, there's really not a clear winner on which one cleans better. It depends on who you are, what type of work you're in, how, how do your clothes get dirty, are you outside all the time, are you inside in the, at the office all the time. Depending on what your lifestyle is, is it the front load or the top load, 
Think about your needs, your lifestyle, and you decide which one will be best for you. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully these five tips are gonna help you in your purchase decision of your new washer. Please subscribe to our channel below. Ring that bell to get notifications. And again, thank you for watching our video today.